Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the EPOS GSP601. This is a variant from the 600 series of EPOS slash Sennheiser's gaming headsets. And this is a more affordable variant, a wired version of the GSP670 that I saw and unboxed recently. And this is a white one. There's a 602, which is a different color, and the design is basically the difference between those color variants. Now this is an unboxing video where I'm going to be showing off what's in the box and talking to you about the headset. For reference I'm also using the microphone for this voiceover so you can get an idea of what the capture quality is like and what the sound is like in the background audio and things like that. It does a very good job of blacking out external noise as you'll hear. You can't hear the fans on my PC for example. This headset works with PC, PS4, Xbox One and Mac but I have been using it on PC for the most part. It comes with 3.5mm cable which you'll see in a minute, two different cables for PC or console use, but there's no way to connect it let's say via Bluetooth or USB-C connection to your phone so you're out of luck if you want to do that. However this is a nice headset, a very nice looking headset with a decent spec lineup on it. For example it has a frequency response of 10 hertz to 30,000 hertz. It has a 28 ohm impedance and it has a very nice good solid design to it. A very similar design to the GSP670 which is a very expensive headset, a wireless version which is I found to be well designed, robust, solidly built, comfortable to wear and fantastic at blocking out external noise thanks to deep plush leather ear cups and this headset has a similar appeal in that way in that it blocks out a lot of external noise and <laughs> I've been using it recently it's been sitting on my desk and every time I need to use it to block out my wife who happens to be nearby on zoom calls and regular meetings with her team I put it on and I can't hear her anymore and then I get shouted at because the doorbell's gone and I've not heard it and <laughs> there are other issues like that but I think that's a good sign of a good gaming headset that works well as when you can't hear the world around you and you can just immerse yourself in the game. The design of this headset is obviously quite striking, it comes with these white plates that I'll show you in a minute, you can swap all with the orangey gold ones that are on there already. Obviously very bright or sort of white design. When it's on your head it's quite an interesting look as you saw when it was on the skull at the beginning. I don't think it suits me personally so it might be worth considering whether it's going to look good on you. It's quite a chunky large headset with a very striking design to it. As you'll see a large microphone as well and I'll talk to you a bit more about that as I go through but you'll see the two different cables included. There's a shorter one that's intended for console use and then a longer braided cable that's intended for PC that has a splitter cable with microphone and headphone connections and that's how I'm connected to my PC at the moment straight into the motherboard. And the audio experience from it is great in that way. We also like that it has that detachable 3.5mm connection so it can just pull out so if it gets wrapped around a chair leg for example or you stand on it by accident or something like that it'll just come out rather than being a problem and damaging the headphones it also means that you can swap between these two connections if you want to use it for other reasons. The microphone is a big hefty thing flip to mute design you can hear the click as I lift it up where it's muting so you notice when that's happening so it's an audible click. One downside to the microphone is though it blocks out a lot of background noise there's no side tone so I can't hear myself talking now and because it blocks out a lot of noise with the ear cups you then end up probably shouting or talking a lot louder than you need to. The design of the headband is similar to the 670 that I reviewed previously in that it's very stretchy, it extends really long and wide and will fit over large heads so if you've got a big noggin and large ears this headset is probably for you. It should be warned though that it does come with quite a strong clamping force on it. It sort of sticks to the head quite well and that's good because it then uses that pressure to block out the external noise and to in all encompassing sound when you're playing games, listening to music, watching TV or films or whatever else. So it does a good job in that way and it's also, I feel like it's solidly built, you can see from just the twisting and turning of the ear cups and the bending and stretching of the headband that this is quite a beast. It's also quite comfortable to wear, I have mixed feelings about the comfort. As I said there's a pressure from the clamping force 
but there's some good padding on the headband. Now on the ear cups you have these two plates that you can remove and swap between so you can either make the thing basically entirely white or you can have it set off with the orange sort of gold design instead and a choice between switch between those that's basically all you can do out of the box but it's a nice little touch to sort of add a bit of color to it and make it a bit more interesting and different i think it's a nice addition to an already pretty nice looking headset I like this headset looks really nice on my desk and in these video clips but i don't really like how i look wearing it but that's a minor sort of consideration because to be honest i'm mostly wearing it at home anyway it's not like the sort of thing that you would put on and wear out the house there's no you can't remove the microphone so it's very obviously a gamer headset and you can't use it with a phone anyway unless you've got a 3.5mm connection so it's very much to use at home so it's not necessarily a problem it is expensive but you also do get a very good quality audio for it. I feel like it's a nice rich sound to it. There's no virtual surround sound or anything like that. It's very much a sort of stereo affair, but it's designed to give you a very good audio experience with some Sennheiser designed drivers, exceptional audio delivery, and a very good quality of sound overall. And the focus is good sound and a nice solid robust design and I think that's what makes this headset worth the money not just the style and looks of it but also the convenience of the audio the wonder of the extendable headband it has this clever sort of hinge system on the ear cup which basically means that you can tilt it in and out and you can adjust it so it sits nicely on the noggin you can see even here on my little skull that it just sat on that nicely and it's not got any ears obviously but you can extend and bend it and twist it and turn it until it's in the right position for you it's also a good size that will fit over the top of a VR headset for example you can see it here stuck on top of the Quest 2 and because it's 3.5mm it means you can easily connect it to something like that as well so there's a lot of different uses for this potentially a good quality headset which is multi-purpose and has, as you can hear, a very good microphone. As you'd expect, they say it's a broadcast quality microphone. It is picking up a few of the pops in my voice and it's certainly not comparable with something like a dedicated microphone that I usually use, but it does deliver a good sound and it blocks out a fair amount of external noise as well. The ear cups are also removable and you can see large drivers underneath and a soft material on top of those. The ear cups themselves I have mixed feelings about though. You have the faux leather padding on the outside, which does a good job of blocking out the external noise, but you'll see there's a sort of fibrous material on the inside and edge of that, and it's kind of scratchy on the face a little bit, can be a little bit nagging on the internal bits. I also found, like I did with the 670, this headset makes me get quite warm, makes the ears quite warm after a long period of use. In the summer months, it would probably be very, very warm. Those ear cups don't look particularly deep, but they do do a good job for me personally, anyway, of keeping my ears inside and surrounding them nicely without putting too much pressure on them. There is a little bit of pressure but you obviously have the headband that you can adjust it, the tensioning system on top and then be able to stretch it out and get it to fit in the way you like it. Here you can see a close up of that hinge system that I was talking about before. Basically this headset just moves in all the right ways to sit nicely on your head and allow you to focus on what matters, obviously the gaming audio. I do like that the fact that it clamps on tight and that it's not going to fly off as well. I must say I prefer that sort of design, but I also like to have a light fit and sort of comfort to it. For noise cancellation purposes, the mic and the headset are fantastic. Design-wise, I think it looks great. The microphone is pretty good. All round, this headset is ace, really. It's a very good headset. Obviously, a little bit more money, and you could probably get something with a lot more connectivity options in terms of USB-C or USB connection or Bluetooth. But if you're looking for a 3.5mm headset that delivers good sound with stylish design, then this might well be it. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.